We're finally here. The entrance should be nearby. Getting worse again. But it's fine. I'm about to put an end to it all. This is a place I once sealed off with my own hands. The entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. It looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body as I please. Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? <sighs> Follow me. We meet again, Traveler. This body is an assistant to the One Within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Should the One Within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Wait! Paimon knows that voice! Is that... the puppet? You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct, don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? I'm here to show you my answer. We are both warriors, and the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the Blade alone. The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. She cannot affect me in this way. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. Uh, Paimon gets that everyone has their internal battles and stuff, but not like this! It's a bit extreme! Hey, showdown with the Shogun? Oh, never thought we'd see that day! The rules I set for the Shogun are... No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? But they both just want the best for Inazuma. My form is a symbol of supreme majesty, in which has been vested power over all the realm. 
It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. It inherits A's pain. The pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination, courage, love, hatred. All of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Ride an A! In the end, even the proud and mighty only maiden was cut down and stripped. Though your blade is implanted of her blood and filth, never shall it shine as brightly as it once did. Evasion is futile. Illusion shattered. Inform to oblivion. The eye sweeps the lands. Shattered. There is no escape. Strike dead. Inferior. The kitchen and sakura blossoms that once filled the skies fell to the ground as pitch black rain. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop. A fleeting shadow. Now you shall perish, Pathetic. Huh. Huh. Shine down. Huh. 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 The divine lightning that envelops all of Inazuma will fade silently into the clouds. There shall never be another. Never. For the rest of time. Shine down! Be floor! Torn to oblivion! Inferior. Your Thymia crumbles before me. Have you finally defeated her? It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? How the heck? In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change, and Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last, months, years, Centuries. And no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. Five hundred years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices, tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree, so that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. It is about time that I learned to trust them. 
I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. B but this means that... Pass on my words. Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times, and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. What if she gets too obsessed with winning, and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen, and then she might never leave again! Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time! The quicker she gets through this, the better! can cut down how long she needs to spend in there, or, you know, help her win the fight? Well, whatever, we can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there! Oh, but we also can't get in there anymore! Okay, well, first things first, we gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice, don't feel time on now! Um, okay, maybe, if we both ran into it at the same time really, really Oh, you're right! Paimon nearly forgot about her! Who knows if she really understands these consciousness realm plane thingies more than we do, but there's no one else we can turn to! Ugh. All right, up the mountain we go! Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. I hope you realize how lucky you are. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. But you're always smiling. That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase. Mm. The sheer audacity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something really big's happened. It's A. She... She... Oh, okay, I see. So, A's decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Impossibly stubborn jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near-impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. 
You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why start fretting about it now? Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. So you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? Uh, is she playing dumb? She's doing this on purpose, for sure! Uh-huh. You're learning, little one. But really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura, and from what I've heard, it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there, so you tell me. What was it like? Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. First things first, follow me to the entrance. Now then, I always have my ways. It's just a question of how crafty I need to be. To the outsider, the realm of consciousness is a very abstract concept. Luckily, I'm A's familiar, so I can sense her rough whereabouts. In other words, even though I can't pinpoint the exact spatial location of this realm, I can still send you to where A is. So, it's abstract, but has a location. But you don't know where it is, but you can still send us there. What? Yes, no need to try and understand it. Let me put this simply. Right now, she is surrounded by chaos. Everything is turbulent and disordered. If you try to force your way in, you could be swept away by a giant wave that sets you down in an unknown corner of space-time. This is precisely why when entering the plane of Euthymia, it's much safer if you place your consciousness in a physical object first. What? <laughs> All right, well, I might stay here then. You two can go in. Suit yourself. Worst case scenario, all we stand to lose is A. So what's the big deal? Oh, well, if you're quite sure, then of course. Now, I shall send you on your way. <clears throat> hmm. I say... Oh, nothing. It just seems extraordinarily chaotic, that's all. My suspicions have been confirmed. By the way, remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only a strong enough will can prevent you from being swallowed by the giant waves of abstract space. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. Well then, the door is open. Hop on in. I'll stay outside and provide what stability I can. I'll be ready to respond if anything happens. I'm placing my god in your capable hands. For my sake, and for Inazuma's, please, bring her back. Nico, you better know what you're doing! That's enough chatter. Get to work.
Remember to focus constantly on your heartfelt wishes when you enter inside. Only if you are strong enough can I deliver you to the right destination. How can this be? You have returned. But how were you able to get back in? And how come you have not changed at all in all these years? This is a duel to remember. It is as if we have returned to the moment when the laws of eternity were first established. Your will today is as strong as it was back then. Over countless battles, not once have you lost, and never have you shown the slightest hesitation. Had I made all enemies of Eternity stand against you, you still would not have wavered. For your firm commitment to enforcing the rules, you have my admiration too. You bring honor to the title of Guardian of Eternity. Now these two return once more to this space. An inevitability of fate, perhaps. Then, let this be our final duel. The conclusion to that which began 500 years ago. Final duel? Huh. So you're finally willing to... Hmm. Stand back, traveler. I'm going to be the start of something new. The time our duels took to fight was long enough to witness the rise and fall of nations. The energy they consumed was great enough to vaporize the oceans and turn day into night. And the will of man, sufficient to penetrate mind and crush dreams. Yet, you have endured. I will endure forever! This is the end. You have won. I believed you were incapable of transcending the past. But it seems my belief was baseless, and I underestimated your spirit. <sighs> but a will that cannot be eroded has no way to embrace the future. You need not worry about the future, and you aren't alone. I know your power more than anyone else. Had I relied upon my strength alone, I would have lost this duel for sure. Yet, my reason for fighting redefined my martial prowess and redrew my limits. I now carry the gaze of the myriad of expectant eyes that look to the light in the heavens. And whenever I think of this, I feel something stirring within Muso Ishin. The blade that I inherited from Makoto seems to be trying to guide me. To encourage me. I noticed it also. Just now, in the heat of battle, it seemed to unleash a new and unfamiliar power. This power is beyond the limits of my understanding. This blade belonged to Makoto. 
Perhaps it can only respond to me with its full power when I truly understand and believe in her. <laughs> when I clasped Muso Ishin in my hands, I had the feeling that she was by my side once again. It was at once a familiar feeling and a strange one. Makoto barely wielded a blade in her life. And yet, her blade brings me closer to her. You have my approval. Your present will is not the product of erosion. I shall no longer stop you from attempting to modify the rules. From this day forth, this body will remain your assistant. I won't design any more rules that can never be changed. You used to represent my past, but from today onward, you are me. Makoto never saw me as a fearless weapon. Likewise, I should not regard you as a mere tool. Hm. Huh. You truly have changed. I suppose this is what humans call... growth. I understand. I shall become your shadow, just as you were once Makoto's shadow. The duties I perform will not change. But as a warrior, I look forward to the chance to fight like this again in the future. Hmm. <laughs> Do you say this because you have not yet reconciled yourself with your defeat? It was simply a new experience for me. One that is worth reliving. Have you finished fighting then? Like, for real this time? Hmm? Hello, A. And greetings, those who have come to bear witness. I am Raiden Makoto, the previous Electro Archon, who failed in my duties and left you all to pick up the pieces. Makoto? I'm so happy. You've come so far. I always knew he would make it here in the end. I left a faint fragment of my will in Muso Ishin, so that in the moment that you unleashed its full power, I too would be released. <laughs> a convoluted way to reach you, but... Well, you held such deeply entrenched views at the time that you wouldn't have listened to a word I said. There was no time to wait for you to have a change of heart. Please forgive me. All I could do was find some way to wait until you came to me. But... You never mentioned this to me. Everything happened so suddenly. I'm sorry. I've always felt terrible for having to entrust Inazuma to you all of a sudden. I should have been the one to impart these ideas to you, a little at a time, to dissuade you from your pursuit of stillness. Did you know what was about to happen in Conria? I had some sense of it. That place... was not somewhere that any Archon could afford to ignore. In my present form, I can no longer perceive time. I don't know how long we have been separated before this reunion, and I don't know what Inazuma has experienced in the meantime. But I know that this must have been an extremely arduous journey for you. And I'm sure you must have wanted to shed tears many times along the way. Don't look down on me. <laughs> See? You admit it. It was with this possibility in mind that I left a parting gift for you. Something to soothe Inazuma's pain. Here, take it. Before my last shred of consciousness fades away. But it is you who must take the most important step. Tree that blesses the people 
in this moment new to the world and yet to be known. When to plant it, where it shall bloom, she who brings it into being must let her heart and dreams decide. Grant it life, eh? Is this... is it really? Eternity extends time into infinity. Dreams illuminate each moment within. When both shine in unison, the sacred Sakura blooms from the darkness, finally free from the clutches of the heavenly principles. Now the nightmare has dissipated, and reality is made whole. The vision we both yearn for is still further ahead. My only regret is that I cannot witness Inazuma's future. Nor can I walk this journey with you. <sighs> Do you know, A? Eh? I am so happy right now. Because my final wish has now come true. Your polearm once protected me from countless calamities. For this, I've always felt indebted to you. Though I could never repay you in full, this sacred Sakura will buy you some time until you are ready to awaken and embrace the new. What do you think? Did it do the trick? <laughs> this time, it really is goodbye, eh? <sighs> goodbye, Makoto. So the A of the present planted the sacred Sakura in the realm of consciousness, and it took root in the Inazuma of the past. No matter what you make of it, it's quite incredible. All of this is thanks to Makoto's power. Her understanding of eternity is much more profound than mine. Eternity is a concept intimately connected with time. When you begin to touch on eternity, the concept of time becomes murky. A place where time is meaningless and cannot be understood with ordinary logic. Huh, so that was the turbulence I was sensing. Perhaps that is the reason why you were able to return precisely to this point in time without any problems. And yet... That sense of disorderliness has now completely disappeared. I don't fully understand yet. But my intuition tells me that the reason for everything... It's that seed. Hmm. Well, I'm not convinced that it was Makoto's power alone. Without the sacred Sakura, Inazuma would likely have been completely swallowed up centuries ago by that disaster and the filth. I know you've always perceived there was something special about the sacred Sakura, but to me, it has always been there. You've tried in the past to prove to me that there's a connection between the sacred Sakura and Makoto's consciousness, but unfortunately, you never did persuade me, did you? No. But I understand why now. It was because the sacred Sakura hadn't even been planted then. Um, but don't you think that tree looked a lot different than how it does now? 
The sacred Sakura is within my purview at the shrine, so obviously I get to prune it exactly how I like it. Ugh. Now we see who's pulling the strings. I'm joking. That tree has been through a lot since it first sprouted. We have the loving care of Kitsune over the ages to thank for how it appears today. And obviously I played my part too. It's fair to say that very little time passed between the moment you came out of that realm and the moment you re-entered it. But in that same time, centuries of battling took place on the inside, did it not? Traveler, if I'm guessing correctly, you were repeating your wishes to yourself in your mind, weren't you? At that time, I could sense A's whereabouts, but I also sensed anomalies in the flow of time within that space. Suffice to say, time added a whole new dimension to our search. Simply establishing a location was not sufficient. Fortunately, your will was strong enough that the turbulence carried you to the moment in time most likely to be the intersection of all that you were wishing for. The flow of turbulence may well have been influenced by Makoto, but it took everyone's efforts combined to ultimately help A. So this time, it looks like thanks are due to you. Does that mean it wasn't by chance that we ended up at the final duel? We were always meant to be there to witness what was going to happen? I thought that the flow of time was the same on the inside and the outside. So it was a great shock to me when the Traveler reappeared. My first thought was, has a great disaster befallen Inazuma? But it turned out you had come to rescue me. You came for my sake, to help me reach the best possible outcome. You too have my thanks. You have done much for me, and I will never forget it. Hey, how are you feeling now? My body has fully recovered, and the Shogun's will no longer fights against me. Always thrilled to hear you're in good health. But I was really asking about your emotions. Have you managed to calm down? After all, you saw Makoto in there, didn't you? I only heard her voice. I wouldn't say I saw her. I'll be fine. It brought a few things back, of course, but I've made my decision to move forward. I have to say, this has reminded me once again just how brilliant Makoto was. She predicted all the ways in which Inazuma's future could unfold all the way back then. <laughs> she even factored my immaturity into her plan. It's all thanks to her that Inazuma lived to see this day. I just planted a seed. Yeah, it was thanks to everything you did that you got to see her again. That's amazing! Thank you. Today, at long last, you and Inazuma finally emerge from the shadows cast by the events of centuries past. Makoto and you are Inazuma's past and future, and both are indispensable. It's rare to hear such comforting words from you. I graciously accept them. <laughs> oh, come on. You only think it's rare because you never used to listen to a word I say. Makoto said the exact same thing! <laughs> Great minds think alike, hmm? I wonder... Does that qualify me to, maybe, take the position of Shogun for a couple of days? Actually, no. Forget that. Far more trouble than it's worth. We will have to end the frivolities there. There is much work to be done. The Shogun and I will closely review the Inazuma of today, to find out where things currently stand. Then, we will give careful consideration to the future. After that, I will abolish the Sakoku Decree. Really? That's huge news! I am no longer pursuing an eternity defined by stasis. In which case, 
There is no further need to keep the nation under lock and key. I don't doubt that many challenges lie ahead for Inazuma. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>